Welcome back to my session. As a part of our D, uh, NVTQ UBMS training, today we continue with our DML statements. I hope you go through my previous videos. If you have any queries, comment on me. To get my previous videos, please subscribe to Easy B Tech channel. If you subscribe this Easy B Tech channel, you will get the notifications once we upload our videos. Okay, this channel is very useful for your B Tech career. Okay, come to our session. Okay, DML statements. Yeah, last session we discussed what is SQL and what are the commands in the SQL statement. Okay, basically we have the five types of commands uh, in SQL statement. Each and every command. Okay, DDL command, DML command, TCL command, TC, um, DCL command, and DQL commands. All five commands again having a sub commands. In the last session we discussed about what is DDL statement and what about create, drop, alter and truncate statement. Okay, here I am not explaining truncate, explain, truncate statement with an example. Once we complete insert statement, then we go with the truncate statement. Truncate statement is used to remove the data from the database. Okay, that is the use of truncate statement. Okay, uh, but you concentrate, hello students, please concentrate, uh, very important question. What is the difference between the drop and truncate statement? Okay, in the interviews, the mo most important question is what is the difference between the drop and truncate statement? Drop statement is used for to remove the entire database. If you want to remove the entire database, okay, we are using the drop statement. Here, drop statement is used for to remove the entire database. Suppose if you want to remove that entire data, student data, okay, we are using the drop statement. What is the syntax drop? table table name drop table student suppose if you want to remove only content of this table okay suppose the student table having around some 100 records if you want to remove the uh, data of the student table then we go with the truncate that is the difference between drop and truncate uh, remember what is the difference between the truncate and drop? Okay, now we go with insert. What is the insert? Okay, the DML statement is used to perform the manipulation of means if modification of the database. Okay, modification is nothing but what are the operations we perform? Modification means insert, U, update, and D. Okay, uh, one more thing, student, if you want to remember all these statements. Okay, you have to uh, remember DDL statement is Dr. Cat. DDL statement means Dr. Cat. Okay, Dr. Cat is nothing but drop, rename. We have another name, another one rename, create, alter, and truncate. Okay, this is I. D U I D U insert delete and update insert delete and update okay in some uh, videos or some books there uh, someone said select also as a part of DML statement but select is a DQL DQL is means domain no, data query language if you want to retrieve the data from a DBMS we are using one command that is called as a Select if you want to specify, okay. If you want to retrieve uh, data from condition, okay. In specific condition, we go with the select, okay. I have explained total detail about what is uh, DQL, all the DQL and DCL now, okay. First, I open my SQL, SQL. I think uh, last videos I, uh, I informed how to create. They, uh, means how to okay how to download the data and how to insert how to uh, insert SQL start uh, SQL software and other things please go through previous video if you have any doubts how to download the data okay first uh, again uh, I'm create one table Clear screen. This is a command used for to clear the screen. Okay, here I'm uh, enter a con by using constraints. Okay, basically we have key constraints. 
in my uh, data model 3 video you know uh, what are the key constraints all the things okay basically uh, key constraints are five types okay uh, today we go with primary key and foreign key okay i am create a database by using primary key and foreign key okay first i am create a small normal table and insert the values then i create another table with constraints okay simple table uh, i am create one table okay a person create table table name suppose p u r 12 okay uh, what are the values p id person id some number number is a data type okay this is a 10 10 is nothing but the precision is 10 bytes of memory it can allocate 10 bytes of memory next one is p name p name uh, var char 2 of 10 okay and p address basically these are the common fields what is your name and uh, you are from which place and only we are asking okay if you wanted to uh, meet any person hi if you wanted to introduce yourself or, or any person introduce yourself okay first he said okay i'm so and so okay i'm uh, so and so i'm uh, suppose xyz i'm from hyderabad okay this is my after completion of that okay he is giving some identification number suppose today we are uh, get the identification is a phone number okay insert the values okay how to check that sub structure of the that particular table describe p r 2 okay now we are try to insert the values to insert the values in your database we are using command is insert into table name table table values okay directly we are giving the values this is the first syntax directly we give the values here we are put a uh, name some uh, hari and uh, city is hyderabad yes uh, no insert into value sorry insert into Insert yes, so one row is created. Okay, if you want to create one more row, now we go with another number 456 Surya Uday. Some again, some second row map. Like one row is created. Okay, what is the syntax for uh, insert a basic syntax for insert table? Insert into table name values. Insert into table name values. Okay. The only I'm insert of uh, um, say five equals triple six. Swam uh, Ravi. like this now we want to access the data we are using select statement select star from <coughs> table name pr to web okay you can get the values i think uh, you cleared about how to insert the values okay we are inserting values in a table in total three ways uh, two ways directly we are inserting the values one more thing if you want to insert the values n number of value set time we are using another syntax that is once i describe the table okay insert into pr 12 values okay here we are giving one more method first you specify all the column names if you have any uh, data with uh, data type is a bar cap we are specifying in a single quotation otherwise directly we are using amber sign and uh, p address this is a syntax ok 
And now it is asking about ID seven eight nine name Sri and uh, city and one row created again if you want to just you have to give some back forward slash enter id your enter id and name um, sai um, i address is suppose till one row is created again person id so and so like that we are inset 10 records or 100 records if you want to insert more records we are using this every time no need to again every time insert into directly first we have to give the this particular uh, syntax okay insert into table table values with a specific address uh, all the column names then directly by using the forward slash we can enter uh, person name equal Naresh And address is, uh, address is Bangalore. <coughs> okay, now you check the value, select star from what is the table name? PR. So we can get the total <coughs> six rows. This is about uh, only simple insert value. Suppose I wanted to update. <coughs> Suppose I wanted to update uh, name of uh, sorry uh, city of uh, uh, Hari from Hyderabad to some other city. Okay, other city. <coughs> For that we are using update update table set table table name set set p address equal suppose here i am writing some nalgonda where p id equal 3 4 5 6 one row updated again we are using that column okay previously here we have this particular hari is hyderabad now hari is nalgonda like that we write, create a simple command okay now i want to delete delete a value from a table we are using delete command okay these are the simple uh, statements we are using delete from P E R twelve. Suppose I want to delete one row where uh, we have to give the condition where class. Okay, where class? Where class is used for specific value triple six Pune. I want to remove Mr. Ravi. Okay, one row is deleted. Yes, please check. Previously we have six records. Now we have only five records. Okay, this is about the data about the data. Uh, this is about the information. Okay. Now uh, up to now we discussed about insert command, update command, and uh, select command, and delete command. Now we create a tables, two tables, two tables. two tables with constraints different constraints okay means we are using the primary key and foreign key and uh, create a table okay first we create a table create table some s100 stu student 100 okay first you are joining your college at the time of uh, joining of your college uh, you have a student id student id student id this is a number 10 then uh, student name stu name uh, this is a varchar i think already i explained what is the difference between all the variables means varchar char and 
bracket to and uh, student rule number student name if you want student section okay in which section you are giving student branch we are calling as a student branch student branch either c c r e c bracket then and uh, okay if you want we can add one more field uh, okay we try to add one more field that is student uh, fee student fee some number 10 comma 2 table oh sorry table created okay now we are adding some constraints add uh, table table stu 100 okay i want to add uh, alter alter table what is the table name stu 100 add okay we are adding something what we are adding constraint okay the constraint is primary key primary key we are adding a constraint a primary key stu id okay student id is the primary key stu id okay table is altered okay if you want to check the condition uh, structure of the table we are using okay we check the condition okay not null always primary key is a not null okay that's why no. now once you have to create your uh, uh, join your college for your scholarship you are you are uh, you are opening your bank account yes or no you are opening your bank account if you want to open your bank account first you have uh, merging with uh, your bank account with your student network okay for that one i am creating create table some person 100 okay person 100 here you have a PID. PID is nothing but your your other card number, whatever it may be. That's why here I'm taking varchar varchar two of two of fifteen. Next, uh, this is a primary key. Well, because other card is a primary key. Next. Uh, here you have name okay p name p name uh, larcap 2 of 20 next here we are writing uh, we are linking with okay we have uh, different different columns but i am adding only two col three columns personal id person name and now we are merging with your aadhar card merge with your student id that's why here student id student id what is that number number 10 okay number 10 now we have to write number 10 now we have to this is a primary key now we want to put a reference okay one table to another table okay if you want to establish a reference between the one table to other table uh, what we can do anyone yes very good foreign key okay that's why here we are we are creating foreign key okay foreign key foreign key okay which one is a foreign key we are creating okay foreign key is nothing but foreign key is used for to referencing stu id okay syntax is stu id references references what is the table name stu 100 yes primary key spelling now One 
internet and open media and uh, check if you have any uh, doubts okay if you any problem in the table directly you open the ed okay editor and you check with the create table table name pid primary key p name uh, we are uh, writing p values first one is uh, id this is nothing but your aadhar number or your pan number whatever it may be and this is the name okay and this one the next this is the student id we are using student id for reference okay that's why here we are using foreign key what is the foreign key student id is the foreign key yes reference ncs references okay references okay uh, if you have to do any mistake okay you are unable to if a table is more than one line or two line or n lines okay in in the editor okay in the sql command prompt if you are unable to check okay directly you open ed okay do any mistakes here okay any syntax mistakes okay a foreign key and differences okay differences this is a syntax foreign key okay i am put a foreign key what is the foreign key stu id okay it is referencing okay it is referencing to which table already we are existing student 100 table okay that's why here we have to using uh, this particular uh, reference referen reference to the particular table exit okay now the table created okay then here you have to write forward slash and table created now we check describe describe what is the table name person 100 okay. and describe Process, sorry, what is the student student hundred? Okay, we have a two table student and a person. Okay, now we have to establish which is the master key. Okay, student or uh, person, which is the master key? Okay, which is which having a primary key and foreign key? Then that is called as a master key. That's why here student is a master key and then person. Why? Because if you are a student, then only you are eligible for open a scholarship. That's why here. this is the student id is the master key student 100 is the master key and person is a this is a parent key this is a child key now we are try to insert the values insert insert into first we are insert the values already we are insert into that particular table okay select start from Okay, you have doubt why uh, I am retrieving this particular select the star from P R one, P R hundred. Okay, now we are insert the values now. Okay, insert, insert into P R hundred values. What are the fields? Okay, we are go with the we are enter some five records. That's why I am going with the second method. Okay, P I D. So first we insert the values into two student table. S T U hundred. Values. Okay. What are the values we are enter? Uh, student ID, student ID, and student name is Varkar. We are using Amber sign. Please go with the proper syntaxes. Stu name. Next. Stu. Branch and number S T U F S T U F. We are three uh, four four columns. That's why S T U I D S T U names and S T U branch and S T U F. Okay, now you are enter the student ID. Okay, first time enter serial five zero one. 
स्टूडेंट नेम इज सम रवि स्टूडेंट ब्रांच इज सी एस सी स्टूडेंट फी इज अराउंड सम फिफ्टी थाउजेंड वन रो क्रिएटर अगेन फार्मर्स कैश एंटर स्टूडेंट आई डी फोर जीरो वन स्टूडेंट नेम रामो स्टूडेंट ब्रांच ई सी स्टूडेंट फी सम फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड अगेन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंसर्ट वन मोर रिकॉर्ड स्टूडेंट आई डी फाइव जीरो टू स्टूडेंट नेम साई एंड स्टूडेंट ब्रांच सी एस सी student fee some 50000 okay i'm try to insert some six records uh, 301 student name varun uh, fees 35000 45000 oh wrong happened actually student branch is mechanical okay Uh, then we update this student branch. We update later. Uh, next one more record. Student ID again five zero three. Student name some uh, Kalpana. Uh, student branch C S C. And student fee fifty thousand. Next one more record. Student ID four zero three. student name some sandeep student branch ece student fee 45000 okay now select 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 start from table what is the table name stu and the okay you will get the total 1 2 3 4 okay but here we have a problem student uh, branch and student fee okay now i want to update update what is the table name stu 100 set student branch equal in make where god we are using the where class where student id equal 301 one row is updated again uh, we change the fee also okay student fee equal some 45000 per student name. now you check again yes previously we have previously we have varun with uh, some wrong values now correct values okay now correct values this is about the insert values now we are insert inserting the values into person 100 also what is the uh, structure of pr pr 100 yeah now one you, once you check now i want to insert again insert into here i'm uh, try to insert same 60 cars In first syntax, insert into P R hundred values values. First one is person ID. Person ID is nothing but your Aadhaar card address. Okay, six three two five zero one two like that. And some students enter Aadhaar card, some students enter PAN card. That's why there we are giving as a var card, but that is a primary key. Person name equal. Here I am trying to give another person, okay, Srinu, Srinu, and I am giving person means student ID is so and so. Yes. Always we are giving the string data with the colon, but we are not enter why right? integrity constraint. Okay, please check here instead integrity constraint we violating the. Condition. What is the condition? Parent key. Okay. This key. What is the value you are enter? Seven eighty nine. It is not exist in the parent key. Okay. We have to establish a relationship between the student table and person table. Okay. We want to insert. If you want to insert the values in a uh, child table, compulsory that particular value exist in the 
parent table that's why here you are violating the condition what is the condition integrity constraint okay we are put here integrity constraint we have total see, five types of integrity constraints that's why integrity constraint problem which okay in the system database name is system we are logging from system only the database user name is system okay violating parent key not okay in the parent key this 789 is not exist that's why please check your values okay that's why again we go with check with sandeep sandeep and enter the correct value 403 Again, sorry, 40 instead of 403, I mean that. Now, one row is created. Why? Because in this particular table, we have a four, Sunday 403. Compulsory, what are the uh, student IDs in a parent key? Same. Okay. If you want to open you, if you want to link with your other card with your uh, college account, okay, you are enter your uh, other card number as well as your name and you are enter wrong, wrong student value, wrong student number. Then check with the database. Okay, your student number is not matching. Please enter correct value. Okay, same. Similarly, here I did some mistake. Instead of 503, I'm enter uh, 403. I'm enter 405. Okay, again uh, immediately the bank person said, okay, uh, Mister, uh, your rule number is not exist in the database. Your rule number is not exist in the database. Oh, sorry, sir, that is not 405. That is 403. Okay, one row is created. Okay, now I want to create one more row. Select star from student hundred. Now I want to insert one more row. Uh, now I may enter some pan card. Y P G two H. Okay, name is Ravi. Name is Ravi. What is the name of uh, Mr. Ra number of Mr. Ravi? I zero. One row is created. Okay, again. He is also enter Ram also gives some uh, other card only. Okay, please uh, practice. If you practice, you can get doubts. Hmm. One row created. Okay. Okay. Now uh, other student Sai. I think uh, Sai and uh, is an other member. Now we have entered Sai. Five zero two. Five zero two. How many rows we are creating? Three plus one four. Two more rows we wanted to create. Okay, insert into year one values. Okay, here I'm changing some. Varun. Phone number is three zero one. Again, one more. Uh, I wanted to show one more constraint. Uh, insert into here. I am put null. Null name is. I have not entered that uh, particular value. Kalpana. And number is 503. 503. Okay. Here cannot insert null. Why? What is the problem? Yes. The student ID. The student ID is a sorry. Person ID is a primary key. That's why here person ID is a primary key. Compulsory. You want to insert some value. Suppose in the same table, I'm enter person ID uh, means other ID or whatever it may be. I forgot the uh, I'm not enter some name of the student and you and it accepting okay 
you think please check each and every constraint i am checking i am giving different different constraints different different examples okay please check now select star from yes please check the sixth row the sixth row not having name okay the five rows having name the sixth row not having name and also pid is a combination of rr number and pan number and all the numbers now we check we did the select star from uh, select star from student 100 student 100 okay now uh, we i want to insert instead of null value i want to insert some kalpana okay for that i am using update update table what is the table person 100 okay set set p name person name equal kalpana okay person name equal kalpana where what is the condition here we are using the where class where person name equal 503 What is the problem here where i am not using some person id okay actually what is the person id person id equal person we are i am not specify the column name person id equal 503 not person id that is student id sorry student ID yes. yes. PID equal what is the value of Kalpana invalid number PID five six eight nine Five six eight and seven four two three. Yes, update person. Uh, oh. P R hundred. P R hundred set. P name equal Kalpana where S I D equal five zero three. Invalid identifier. Invalid number. Select star from person hundred. Okay. Now update update P R hundred set. Okay. P name P name equal Kalpana. P name equal Kalpana. Where? Here we are using the where class. Where? Okay. P ID equal 5689742. Invalid number. P ID said P name equal Kalpana. Where? P ID invalid number. P ID is invalid number. Okay. What is the problem here? Describe. P R hundred. Oh, this is uh, what is the problem? This is a marker. I enter uh, this as a normal integer value. Okay. 
it specified this is a constant the domain constant in the first integrity constant we have a domain integrity constraint the domain integrity constraint if you are specifying as a integer compulsory you are giving integer value but here we are specifying this particular variable as a string okay that's why okay compulsory we are enter as a string okay one row is updated now we check select start from personal okay kalpana okay yeah okay uh, students uh, up to now we discussed about what is uh, ddl com dml commands insert update and now i wanted to remove a table i think already we check how to remove a table how to remove a table and what are the uh, how to access the values in the next uh, okay uh, next session we continue with how to uh, perform the sql operations okay in the same database we perform the sql operations okay till now bye please subscribe please subscribe easy btech channel you can get all the updates okay thank you